All right, uh, hey guys. Um, so as a continuation of kind of the tutorial I made on performing in planes, I wanted to do one on like body consciousness and being aware of what you're doing when you're hooping with the rest of your body, not just the hoop. Basically, a lot of the time that I, I see people who are hooping and they just have like the one arm up here and I'm guilty of this too. I know that I do it sometimes when I'm not paying attention or whatever. And um, you just look like a dinosaur <laughs> like this. Or people that are just standing completely still and they're doing their tricks, you know, like, I guess it would be better for me to demonstrate these kinds of things, but just hold your hand up here or just out your side when you're doing these things. Or there's not much in the way of dancing. It's just kind of like, um, you know, I'm just going to do all the tricks that I know, but I'm not really feeling it. I'm not feeling this music. I'm living it and then extending it to my hoop, but I'm also dancing. So I think when it comes down to it, and you look at good performers, they're feeling the music from the core of their body all the way out to their fingertips. And trying to do that is such a great experiment and is also really good um, as far as getting better with performing and just having more fun with dancing in your hoop, which I know can be really difficult um, until you become more comfortable with it. Or even, especially for people who aren't comfortable with dancing in the first place, it can be really hard. And I've always enjoyed dancing and then the hoop gave me a reason to dance. So although I wasn't conscious of what I was doing at first, it came pretty quickly, but I know that a lot of people will have more difficulty with that, so hopefully this can help. Um, basically, the exercise that I would say to try would be to do whatever, do whatever you want to do with the hoop, but turn your music up all the way as loud as you can, and really just dance and feel all the way through. Feel with, you know, your hands feel with your legs, move your feet to the beat of the music, you know, do whatever you need to do and, you know, tense the muscles and relax them and really just move with something. So you want to pick some music that you really, really love. And for me, it's really easy for me to dance to Radiohead. So that's what I, um, why I'm always dancing to them. But, uh, what I'm going to do is give an example of, a, of like maybe a trick use it with someone who's being body conscious and someone who would not. So, say you're gonna do a trick like a jump through where, I'll tilt this down slightly. Okay, so you might be like, someone might just go like this and then keep going. But someone who was really, was really exaggerating themselves and being conscious of what they were doing might do something like that, you know? and then continue that energy. And I think it's really all about picking up on the energy of the music and how you're feeling it and extending that all the way through to your fingertips, through to your toes, and, and into the hoop. So, well, at first it might seem kind of, you might feel silly, um, exaggerating your movement or whatever. You'll notice if you're making videos it's much more interesting to watch something like this, even if it's diff more difficult for you to keep in mind what you're doing with your tricks, than it is to just stand there and watch someone go like this. You know, so hopefully that helped. Um, I'm gonna also suggest, as always, to make videos and look at yourself in the mirror because you have no idea what you look like otherwise. <laughs> um, but I guess actually another tip for this, if you're having a hard time getting into it, is I will sometimes, my remaining hand, if I'm off body, I will kind of try to counteract what this arm's doing with this hand. So I don't have very much room here, but if I'm going like this, I will kind of bounce my other arm if I'm dipping it. I'll like weave with both of my arms 
you know, let their second arm follow the motion of the hoop and interact with the hoop also, even if it isn't um, actually controlling the hoop. And the other thing you can do is try more tricks with two hands on the hoop because it causes your body to interact more and, um, you know, kind of just get you a little bit more into using your entire body to hoop. So anyway, um, practice with that and hopefully this will help you build up your performing and dancing skills in a really good way. Alright, uh, see ya!